Christina Flores of Windsor watches as large plumes of smoke from the Wallbridge fire in Sonoma County wafts over vineyards west of Healdsburg last August. That smoke, irritating to many people, has also shown a correlation with coronavirus infections and deaths, a new study concludes. Christina Flores of Windsor watches as large plumes of smoke from the Wallbridge fire in Sonoma County wafts over vineyards west of Healdsburg last August. That smoke, irritating to many people, has also shown a correlation with coronavirus infections and deaths, a new study concludes. Hanno Bota walks through a park to take photos of smoke-induced dark orange skies that turned day into night in San Francisco on September 9, 2020. The eerie scene was caused by multiple wildfires burning across California and Oregon that month. New research shows a correlation between wildfire smoke and coronavirus infections and deaths. The sun on Wallace Creek Road west of Healdsburg is blocked by large plumes of smoke from the Wallbridge Fire in Sonoma County last August. The presence of wildfire smoke last year during the pandemic may have been responsible for at least 19,000 additional coronavirus cases on the West Coast and 700 subsequent deaths, a new study shows. The study, published Friday in the journal Science Advances, offers the most detailed accounting yet of how the devastating 2020 wildfire season is believed to have amplified the coronavirus outbreak. It traces increases in infections to periods of smoke in more than 50 counties in California, Oregon, and Washington. Some of the biggest smoke-related spikes were in the Sierra foothills and Central Valley, according to the study, but parts of the Bay Area also saw jumps. In Sonoma County, 13.1% of the cases from March to December last year were linked to smoke, or 1,754. This compares to 17.3% of the cases in Butte County, which had the largest percentage of smoke-associated cases of any California county. Calaveras County fared the worst in terms of per capita deaths. More than half of the county's 22 coronavirus fatalities were tied to smoke. The highest number of overall COVID-19 deaths associated with smoke were in Fresno and Alameda counties, with 131 and 110 people dying, respectively. While a correlation between wildfire smoke and COVID-19 doesn't prove causation, the study's authors say the tie is no coincidence. Plenty of research since the start of the pandemic has suggested that exposure to smoke's primary unhealthy component PM2.5, which refers to particulate matter that is 2.5 micrometers in size or smaller, compromises people's immunity and increases susceptibility to COVID-19. Scientists also hypothesize that the virus may be spread by the particles. The new findings come as the Delta variant fuels yet another surge of coronavirus infections across the country, while fire season is again in high gear in the West. Parts of California are already blanketed in smoke, with bad air recently reported as far away as New York and North Carolina. It's a horrible combination, said Francesca Dominici, one of the authors of the study, and a biostatistician at Harvard University's T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Together, the wildfires and COVID-19 make us even sicker. The new research is based on statistical modeling done by Dominici and her colleagues at Harvard University and California's Environmental Systems Research Institute in San Bernardino County. The team's models crunched coronavirus numbers in 92 counties during non-smoky periods from March 15 to December 16 and how these numbers changed when wildfire smoke brought particulate pollution. The area the researchers examined covered 95 percent of the population in California, Oregon, and Washington. They excluded areas that did not have sufficient data for modeling. The models took into consideration lag times between viral exposure and testing, and they adjusted for several variables, including changes in weather and population.